got allergies, can't breathe, then you want to pump your biceps to decrease the congestion so you can breathe again. So if you're like here in Austin, Texas, there's this it was the allergy capital of the world, you got the cedar still here, you're congested, maybe you're dripping like crazy. Here's one technique that can help open up your sinuses and start decreasing that mucus. You're gonna pump your flex your bi biceps and you see how your bicep comes like this and then you're gonna draw a line that goes to, you know, draw like the end of your bicep. You're gonna draw a line here. You're gonna feel it's like the end of your deltoid. It's called the insertion. It's really tender. You're gonna push on that for 30 seconds, right? So you can push on both sides and that's gonna target this area, your nose. These, there are nerves here that are connected to your nose and then when you press on it, you will instantly see either drippage clearing up or decrease of that sinus problems, all right? Make sure you follow me here on TikTok. I came to you know, an acupuncture in October of this past year for allergies, a lot of sinus problems. I had been to my regular family doctor to an ear, nose, and throat specialist and was really dreading the thought of going through another cedar fever season here in the Austin area. Um, fortunately, they were able to work with me. I came in three times a week, then twice a week, then once a week, and now I'm down just once a month. I did not have any uh, see any symptoms at all this year. It's been just absolutely fantastic. And I feel so much better than I felt in a, a long, long time. I would recommend this strongly to any of my family members or friends. And in fact, I have. Thank you. Today we're gonna to continue the conversation of the nine strategies to improve the quality of your life. So today is strategy number three. And so part of that TED talk, um, I'm getting it from that TED talk on how to improve our quality of life. You know, they talked about, the TED talk talked about the blue zones. Uh, the blue zones are where people, uh, they live to be 90 to 100 years old plus, and, but they have a great quality of life. It's not necessarily, I'm not, it's not necessarily about living to 100, it's about how to improve your quality of life. Because that's what most, what's most important, right? That's what you would like to do. Because not everybody wants to live 100 to 100 years old, right? So the third one, uh, third point that they strategy that they mentioned was that the in the blue zones, these people, these 100 year olds, they relaxed. They took time to relax, right? They took, they they did things to help reduce their stress on their body, right? And so. Now this can be interpreted in so many different ways. When we hear the word relax, some people may think, oh, that's, yeah, that's why, you know, I shouldn't be working so hard. Uh, that's why I should be, you know, uh, I should only do a, a, a nine to five job. I should only work 40 hours a week. Um, you know, that's, this is my excuse to say, oh, I need to take a vacation every single month. Um, you know, you can interpret it that way and maybe that's what, what you need. Um, but if you really listen to, you know, the things that they do for relaxation, it's not about doing less necessarily. Okay, there's two things. One is not, it's not about doing less. It's really about, you know, how you process data. How do you process information that occurs around you? You know, do you let things stress you out? Do you let little things that you think um, are out of your control stress you out? Um, if that's the case, then it doesn't matter. You could be sitting down and being like today, you know, foot, the, the, the college football, you know, um, is going on right now. The, the, the playoffs are going out right now. So you may, you may be relaxing, you know, uh, watching the ball game. But then if your favorite team lo is losing, it may stress you out, even though you're relaxing, right? So it kind of defeats the purpose of relaxing and doing nothing. So doing nothing is not necessarily relaxing. And one of the relaxations that, that the TED Talk shared was they prayed. So it's an activity. You can relax by doing an activity. By doing nothing is not relaxation. The only time doing nothing is relaxation is when you're resting and sleeping, which is very vital and important. But other than that, sitting, watching, watching TV, uh, lounging around, doing nothing, is not relaxation, right? Because how many of y'all have this experience that you're sitting there relaxed but you feel super stressed, right? So being productive is relaxation. That's a way for relaxation. So really, it, it, it really the point is it doesn't really matter what you do, it's how you process the information about what you're doing, how you view what you're doing. That's more important. It's all up here, right? Because 
if if it is if sitting around watching TV is relaxation for you, then then it will be. If you, that's what you believe, then it will be. If you know, hanging out with your friends, going to place, you know, play some tennis, play some golf, that's relaxation. Then you're product, you're being active, you're also being productive. You're also, you know, that could be relaxation. So, like for for me, my, you know, people think when they think about relaxation, a lot of people think, oh, you need to meditate, right? I personally do not do the stereotypical definition of meditation. The stereotypical definition is you sit down and you're doing nothing in silence, right? And there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm just saying I don't do that. But what I've identified for my meditation, my meditation, and my definition of meditation is you are singly focused on only one thing, and everything else is out of your mind. So meditation is so people who sit down, they're focusing on their breath, right?、Um, like there's a practice in Chinese medicine, it's called qigong. That's a type of meditation, and where you're just focusing on your breath, going in, out, and oxygenating your whole body. That's a type of meditation. I personally don't enjoy doing that. That stresses me out.、Um, so I found another way to meditate. I meditate when I play tennis. When I play tennis, the only thing I think about is tennis. I'm not thinking about anything else. All I'm thinking about is the game of tennis and how I'm going to win. Okay,、um, but that see when when I play tennis, that's my meditation and that's my stress reliever.、Um, and so. And we're going to talk about stress. I'll leave that topic for tomorrow.、Uh, but I want to talk about being, you know, restful, being relaxed. So having having that relaxation is is crucial. Now that's different for everybody. So don't think that someone else says, "Oh, you need to relax," means you need to slow down. So you know, I, I recommend, you know, if your relaxation is 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 to, you know, do nothing, then that's great for you.、Um, But don't let's not enforce our own definition of relaxation on someone else, because someone else's definition of relaxation may may be to go out and play tennis. My guy, that's my relaxation, right?、Um, sitting down and doing nothing is anxiety、uh, for me. It's stressful for me.、Uh, but going out and be productive and playing tennis and improving my health—that's super relaxing. I feel very relaxed. Um, another thing that I do is here's another tidbit: is what happened to the afternoon naps? We used to take those in the afternoon, right?、Um, I still do that, and that's in the Asian culture. We also still do that. So after lunch, I always take a 20 to 30 minute nap. Okay, that's just routine.、Um, I've built that into my schedule because that helps me recharge for the afternoon patients that I need to help, right? And so that's an- another way that I relax during the day. I take a nap.、Um, I'm not doing nothing. I'm resting. I'm sleeping. I actually fall asleep, and so I recharge. But I only you only do it maximum 30 minutes. Okay. So there's so many different ways. You need to find your way of relaxation. Um, try a couple things and, and test it out. So, what is your way, right?、Um, if you do need that help to help you relax, let's say you can't sleep. Sleep is very one of the most important things. Give us a call, achieveintegrativehealth.com.、Uh, we're really good at what we do, and we can help you get into that relaxed state.